Everybody in the comments of this video was like, oh my God, I'm nervous for you. Oh, I'm cheesing. Oh, this is, go this is so beautiful. But you don't know if he really is interested in her or if he just seen her staring at him and he like, oh, this is an easy kill. Let me go on. Let me go ahead and get her number. Cause I already know this finna go the way I want it. I came across this comment that I wanted to read to y'all. It comes from my last video, the one where I spoke on the situation with the girl that seemed like she fell in love with the man um, she went on a date with, like at first sight, right? And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I saw that there was a lot of people that commented on this video and, and they took what I was trying to say from it. They understood what I was trying to say and it wasn't no problem. But there's a lot of people that was saying stuff like I'm reaching. Um, they were saying that I, I was projecting onto this woman. They were saying that, um, just just saying a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna read this comment. This one right here says, but I'm done with everything relationship related on these channels and podcasts because everyone contradicts themselves and it leaves your head spinning. Men contradict themselves and women contradict themselves. Men will say they like when a woman is shy and coy like this, not aggressive, soft, approachable, and smiley and all that. Then in the same breath be like, oh, she must be crazy because she's too into it. Be careful. I mean, you can't win for losing. You got to be approachable, but just approachable enough to not seem desperate or needy. But you can't be a strong, independent woman. You still need to need a man, but don't need the man too much. Blah, 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 blah. It's exhausting. And then um, I want to read some of the replies to her comment. One reply says, well said, our parents and grandparents and their parents didn't make it this complicated. We setting up to be the most single generation in the history or humanity's creation. This other one says, it's literally a crock of bull. That's why you have to do what's best for you and stop listening to these people on YouTube. They will have your brain melting. I have shown interest in, in men plenty of times by smiling and being nice, but it liter literally didn't mean it would lead to the bed, and it didn't. This dude isn't making sense at all. So <laughs> you see what I'm saying, right? I'm making these videos, for one, because you see how the world is these days. Like, you complaining about these podcasts, you complaining about uh, YouTube and stuff like that. Well, don't forget that a lot of people are learning strictly from social media and YouTube. Why? Because a lot of people just live on the internet these days. People ain't as social as they used to be. That's why normal behavior, when you actually are used to hanging around people and interacting with people, don't really seem to be so common no more. Like, like they say, common sense ain't so common, right? So I make the videos I make because I do coaching. I've seen all the different things that people go through, have been through. I seen the the aftermath of when a person come to me and they all broken up and in shambles because they didn't see the signs that was there. They led and in, 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 where they just jumped into a situation with somebody and the person was playing the role the whole time. Then by the time they finally wake up, it's because they done got hit in the face and that's what woke them up. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I make my video. I can't speak for everybody else. But I know one thing about me is my heart has always been in the right place. I always told y'all from jump, I make videos when I make them talking about women or speaking to women. I, I approach women as if they're my sisters, as if they're my, my cousins or something like that. Or just a friend that I don't have no interest in, no, no attraction to, just a woman that I care about and I want to see flourish and have, and, and, and have the best results in life, right? Same thing when I make a video about men. I got, this is another thing you got to look at too. I got two sons and two daughters. I'm going to give them the same type of advice. A lot of the advice is going to be similar, but you got to also understand that it's going to be catered to, uh, depending on whether or not I'm talking to my daughters or my sons because they're on two different sides of the coin. 
There's women on one side of the coin that'll manipulate and do my sons wrong. There's men on the, on one side of the coin that'll manipulate and do my daughters wrong. So I speak to both sides, right? And I'm a person that speaks to a lot of women. I pay attention to what I've seen with the women in my family, the women I've known, you know what I'm saying? And I just do my best to try to be a friend that can help help people see things clearly, right? And my whole point in making that video that I made was trying to say that the same thing I always say in every, every video, I just used this situation because it was on social media, it was going viral, it got all this attention. And everybody in the comments of this video was like, oh my God, I'm nervous for you. Oh, I'm cheesing. Oh, this is, go this is so beautiful. So on, so on and so forth, right? But they don't know what's going to happen in six months. They don't know that this woman done pretty much already fell head over heels in love with this man, though it seems. And we ain't seen him. We ain't seen his face, for one. Number two, you don't know if he really is interested in her or if he just seen her staring at him. And he like, oh, this is an easy kill. Let me go on, let me go on ahead and get her number because I already know this finna go the way I want it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. So my point is, really a lot of what I do is look at the same internet that you looking at and you frustrated with and I'm frustrated by the same stuff you frustrated with and I just give some perspective on it from most likely a godly perspective because I'm a Christian I believe in God I believe in godly dating I feel like that's the only way to really thrive I feel like us having healthy relationships meaningful relationships intentional dating right will lead us to better results in the future so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Don't get mad at don't don't shoot the messenger because I'm saying something that you don't necessarily agree with. You probably looked at the video and you ain't didn't see nothing wrong with it and it was sweet and you were like, "Oh, this is such a beautiful thing." I felt the same way. But I also know that a lot of people are wolves in sheep's clothing. Like this video I'm getting ready to show y'all right here. This is an, another man getting ready to tell you what his strategy is, right? For how he was pulling women, how he would get women to basically fall for him. And once he feel like he got them, he manipulate them. This is what I'm trying to save y'all from, whether you believe it or not. And for the people that don't like to see me pause videos while I'm listening to them, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all don't know how copyright works. I can't just let a video play all the way through and don't give no commentary on it. Because if I don't, YouTube is going to look at it like I'm stealing somebody's video and just playing a video on my channel. So I got to add commentary. I got to do the things that I got to do to make sure that not only do the, the, the message come across and, and I give y'all the, the, the pointers that I want y'all to see, but I also got to make sure I look out for my channel, too. I don't want my channel to get took down because I'm trying to look out for nobody. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, ladies, I'm going to break down this method that some men use. And it's typically known as the three-month rule. And before we get into it, I can see Let me say this. The three-month rule is trash. <laughs> I know it became popular with Steve Harvey and his book and all that other junk. But, man, you don't know what you... what. You don't know all of what you need to know about somebody in three months. And then number two, because it done became so popular, everybody know about the three-month rule, so it's not a rule that you can use no more. Everybody can be quiet and be calm and, and play a role for three months so they can get what they want. Because Steve Harvey pretty much just made it where women could just, they would they would put themselves on the platter for a man, right? Oh, um... Matter of fact, it was in the movie when the man found the found that the girl was reading the book. He read the book and learned about the three month rule and was on his best behavior for three months. And then he got what he wanted. So don't don't that three month rule that's dead. We don't don't pay no attention to that no more. Be slow to hire and quick to fire. That's the new rule. And however long it take, I don't know what slow is to you. That's on you. That's for you to decide. But I'm just telling you, be slow to hire and quick to fire. Speak on it because, unfortunately, yes, I have done it. I know, like, I know I was a as human being for doing it. It's super manipulative, but this shit is, is foolproof. This shit work. And I'm taking full accountability for it. I don't live that life anymore. And if you can't change something, embrace it. So I'm going to embrace it by giving y'all the game so y'all can peep up on it. So from the first time y'all make contact, this man is giving you, boom, 100%. He'll text you first, and he's consistent with it. 
The compliments, endless. This man is in love with you. He think you're the most beautiful person on the planet. He's always available. You can random FaceTime him and he's always picking up the phone. He tells you when he's going somewhere. He might even give you his location. Oh, he, he might even send you some money on it. He might even send you some money. Like all of that other stuff, that's true. <laughs> but the thing, this is, I, this is why I always tell women, don't get hung up on the money. Because depending on how much money he he got, it it might not mean nothing to him. A man spending money on you really don't mean all that much these days. I just saw a video of uh, Rick Ross on uh, live with this woman from Africa. I think she was a model. I forgot where where exactly she's from. But this is first time talking to this woman on live. He asked this woman what what's her favorite shoes. She say I like Louboutins and and some other expensive brand. He said he was gonna send her both pair. He ain't met her. He ain't hung out with her. He just spoke to her on live. But this is Rick Ross. He got millions of dollars and spending three, two, three thousand dollars on on some shoes ain't nothing to him. Him spending two or three thousand dollars on some shoes is like spending a hundred dollars. It's nothing. It's just a drop in the bucket. And that's why I say, hey, don't be worried about no man money. You need to look at the man character. A lot of people don't want to hear that too, though. They be like, oh, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, cool. Go ahead and go for what you know. You end up just like the last girl he was dating, Christina Mackey, how she was bragging, talking about cooking hamburger helper and all that. And then he he switched out as soon as he got tired of her. We got a new teeth and all the other junk. That don't mean nothing. That man got money. Enough to blow and that don't mean nothing to him. This isn't just one, two, three, no. He's consistent with it. That's the key is consistency. That's what we're falling in love with, consistency. And he'll fight through the phases you're trying to play hard to get. Maybe you got certain boundaries from past relationships. He gonna respect them all. He might, he might not even try to f And now you think you done got the one. You think you done got the love of your life. You so proud of yourself. Oh, I stood on business. I never settled and I finally got him. No, baby. Nah, this just a start. So now that he knows that he got you, Boom, he dropping to 95%. But you don't notice, because that, that 5%, mm, it's not too much of a difference from what he was doing. And then boom, he drops it to 90%. And some women notice it, majority of women don't. Most of the time, the delusion that you got from him putting in 100% is still, is still in there, so y'all not really finna peep. And then boom, he drops it to 80. And you notice this one, but you're not ready to say nothing yet. You soon as you just overthinking, you don't want to self-sabotage a good relationship that you don't find. So boom, now he drops it to 75. And you speak on this one. You reach out to him and you're like, hey, what's going on? You seem a little distant. Is everything cool? You just seem a little off. <sighs> this shit is so devious. Now the man's response would typically be, I'm just dealing with a lot. When I'm going through stuff, I just like to isolate. Um, when my energy low, I just like to distance myself so it don't rub off on you. Okay, so boom. A lot of women done heard that. <laughs> like the video right now if you don't ever heard any of that. All right? And it's a shame that there's so many women that fall for this. Why? I like him. Which, it's okay to like somebody, but you can't like them so much that you ignore red flags and you allow somebody to play with you and treat you like an afterthought. You can't allow somebody to, your self-esteem and self-love and self-worth can't be so low that you just jump on the board and go wherever somebody willing to take you. You got to be able to have some self-control and some self-respect and say, nah, we not doing this. You're not going to play with me. If you, you're going to either be consistent or you're not going to be in my life. I don't care if you tall, dark, and handsome or whatever your preference is. Make sure First of all, you love yourself and you happy. Don't enter into trying to date and all that if you are broken and you are a broken person or a shell of who you used to be. Make sure you happy and you, you confident and you happy being single. Make sure you really got a relationship with God and you comfortable with that. That's all you need. I got God in my life. I'm happy. I'm content. Things are going good. I'm flourishing. I'm happy on my job. I'm happy with my, my circle of friends. I'm happy with, excuse me, I'm, I'm on my purpose. I'm in church. I'm serving in the church. 
you know, I like walks in the park, my fitness. I'm focused on my fitness. I'm trying to learn a new skill. I'm doing new hobbies and make sure your life is 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 flourishing and, and you happy with who you are as a person before you get you jump into a relationship. Because if you're not happy being single, you're not peace, you're not you're not at peace. Somebody like this can slide in and 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 do his thing. Cause you ain't have peace in your life in, in from the first place, in the first place. Right? As a matter of fact, you meeting this guy made you feel some sense of peace in a weird way. That's why you're trying to hold on to him so much. He knows you peeped the shift, so he bumps it back up to 75. And you're grateful. You happy about this 5%. You like, oh, he's putting back in effort. I knew he cared about me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just feeding, feeding the delusion. But to, oh boy, 5% is nothing. From 70 to 75, that's what a couple FaceTime calls today. He gonna keep chopping, it's gonna keep getting lower. He probably at 65, 60, 55% by now. So you say something again, and get what he do. Bump it back up five more percent. And you still grateful because you communicated something and he changed. But it's 5%, Charlotte, that's, that's nothing. This is an emotional roller coaster. That's what this feel like. Just imagine what this will feel like. The man dropped down to 75%, like he said. You say something, hey, you being distant. Are you okay? He give you a lame excuse. Oh, I just been dealing with something, so I like to go to and be by myself when I'm dealing with something. You know what I'm saying? But I, I still like you. I just I don't want to make my problems your problems, right? You go for that, right? Within a few days, you start getting good morning, beautiful text messages. You know what I'm saying? Now he's showing you more attention. Now you feeling good about him again. Now you feeling good because you getting what you need from the man, right? Probably because you got some codependency issues in a lot of the cases, right? So now you was just low. Now you back up in a few days. Then he dropped back down in another week or so and got you right back feeling low again. Then he do the same thing over and over again. Now you up, now you down. Now you up. Now you're down. Now you're up. Now you're down. It's just like somebody playing with a yo-yo. And if you're not happy, you're not at peace with who you are as a person, you're not, you don't know what your God-given purpose is, you don't have a relationship with God, you're not focused on your goals and, and, and stuff like that. If you're not in that, in that space, then you're going to jump on that yo-yo and ride. You ain't got nothing better else. To, you, not, you ain't got nothing else better to do. Right? And he's just going to keep chopping it. At this point, you at like 20%. But you so desperate to, to get back to that 100% that you thought were real. You like, please, give me give me anything. And get what he do. He give you another 5%. And you still happy. Like, do y'all do y'all catch what's going on? The whole point of it is like this manipulative push and pull method. Like, give you a little bit, take a little bit more. But every time he's taking, he's taking more and more away. He can give you, he can, he can be at nothing, 0%. And you will be happy with that 5%. And I'm going to give you an example just so I can peep how small 5% is. It's that random text you get. Hey, Shadow, just, just think about you. Hope your day going well. How your mama doing? It could be a random swipe up on the story. You know what I'm saying? Some hard eyes. Some, hey, you look gorgeous right here. Woo, woo, woo. Take this shit down. Woo, 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 woo. Like, the, the game has always been the game. And the only way to beat this is to believe him when he shows you who he is. I just want to speak on that real quick. Y'all just heard what he said. He made the comment. Hey, take this ish down. Meaning like he's he see a woman post a picture and then he pretend like he jealous, like, oh, oh, you don't be showing your body. Oh, you look too good on this picture. All that is, like you heard what he said. The game has always been the game. Making you feel like he like you so much that he don't he wants you to cover yourself up and not advertise or, or present yourself online like you still single, cause that's hit you his woman, right? He going to that level with it. Oh, I'm jealous because, right, you making me jealous. You making me upset right now because other men are going to be in your DMs and you know you belong to me. Whole time, he don't even see you like that. You get what I'm saying? That's why it's important to not be out here attention seeking. And like, again, if you got low self-esteem, you're not happy with who you are as a person, you're going to look for people to validate you. You're going to look for people to make you feel good. And that right there pretty much is like putting your head in an alligator mouth. It's, it's making you vulnerable for people like this. 
because they know how to give you the attention that you're looking for. And then they can give it to you and take it from you whenever they feel like it and get you to behave the way they want you to behave. A man that cares about you, he's not going a day without talking to you. There's no way that he's finna cut communication because he's going through something. He gonna, he gonna want you a part of that. But y'all know the drill, man. Like, comment, follow. Tell me what else y'all wanna know. So you get what I'm saying, man? I just, I want people to understand what's out there. <laughs> because the, the they did say some some real stuff in that comment. The person that said uh, our parents and grandparents and their parents didn't make it this complicated. You right. But we live in a completely different time now. We got social media. Social media messed up so much stuff, man. Social media has people really living in La La Land. You know what I'm saying? People don't really value people like they used to. You know, people are, they caught up on, on living a lifestyle. You see certain men on social media now. For instance, look at Andrew Tate. Look at how, how these young boys look up to him and, you know, they, they just hold on to every word this man say because of the way he lived his life, the lifestyle that he lived, the women that he had around him, the cars, the watches, the, the clothes, the attention that he get. He has all this, all this influence, all these followers. So many young people, young boys are looking at this man and he's the pinnacle. I remember I used to have Barry Buns and, and, and Andrew Jones and stuff like that on my, on my wall when I was a kid, right? Baseball players. Nowadays, they got people like that on their wall. That's who they looking at on social media every day. And they trying their best to be like that. They think that that's the way to be in order to have respect and, and really have a good, a good life worth living, right? So it's being promoted that the only way to be lit or be the man is to have a lot of women. So they go out and do what they feel like they need to do to have the women. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people with mental health disorders today. And they are going online to get the medicine that they think they need. What it all is doing is just adding to the, 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 the delusion, right? It's a lot of people that need to go to, go to therapy. It's a lot of people that really, everybody need to have a relationship with God. I always say that too. First and foremost, the most important relationship you can ever have is, have is your relationship with God. Why? Because that relationship with God is going to set you up for flourishing in every area of your life. Discernment come with that. Wisdom come with that. If a person don't look like Jesus, stay away from him. If they're going to steer you away from God, stay away from him. It's easy. But the way uh, so many people in this world, they ain't trying to have no relationship with God. They're, they are their own God. They can You see, you see the stuff Kanye West saying now, oh, uh, I was praying on things and, and Jesus wasn't showing up. So I went and did it on my own and I got myself out of certain situations. This man claimed he a Christian, right? But he talking, he, he disrespecting the God that he claimed to serve. God wasn't, wasn't, wasn't good enough to get me out of the situations I was in. I got myself out of those situations. This the kind of messages that's, are, that's coming at young people in the world we live in today. So, yes, you have to play the game different or not play the game at all, which is pretty much, in a, in a way, that's what I suggest, not playing the game. Be comfortable being single. Be happy being single. And whenever you get to the point where you want to be in a relationship, you approach it with caution and, and make sure that you don't allow anybody into your life that's going to disturb your peace that you already created. That's what I tell you. Everything that I say, it, it all lead to you being at peace and, and being by being cool with being by yourself. Why? Because you got a relationship with God. You you fulfilling your purpose. You uh, being a productive citizen. You are accomplishing your goals. You know what I'm saying. You you working on improving yourself in every area that you can, physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, mentally, spiritually. You know what I'm saying. You're becoming a, a way better version of yourself, the best version of yourself you've ever been. 
somebody that's not sitting around thinking to themselves, oh, I need a man. I'm so lonely. Oh, I, I can't handle this no more. Or if you're a man sitting around thinking to yourself, oh, I'm so tired of being single and these women ain't acting right. And this, oh, man, I'm just going to be a dog because they're going to dog me out. Be who God created you to be, first and foremost. And then when somebody come in your path that you may be interested in or they may be interested in you, take your time to get to know that person. Get rid of ideas like the 90-day rule. You can check up at every night, check up uh, every 90 days to see if you still interested in the person or you want to go further, kind of like a, a performance review at a job if that's what you want to do. But don't give them your body. Don't let your guard down and say to yourself, oh, this my man and this who I'm going to be with forever. You don't know him well enough. Be slow to hire. And when you see red flags and you see behavior that's not uh, in, uh, in, in, in alignment with who you are or with God, be quick to fire. And don't look back. No double backs. No, uh, oh, okay, you sorry. Or you ain't going to do it again. Maybe once, if somebody if somebody do something, they not really aware that they did it, you can have some grace. You know what I'm saying? But if they do it again, that's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you look at it like that, it ain't that difficult. The problem is there's so many people in their feelings and they, they all into what feel good. And truth be told, it's a lot of people that know how to make you feel good even if they don't have your best interests at heart. But that's all I got to say about that, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.